Wear the gown. Brought to you by CHI St. Vincent. All right, it's gown time, which means we'll raise your health care IQ. And today we've got your back. Here's CHV 11's Craig O'Neill. There was a time not too long ago when this woman wanted to cut off her own leg. I would be better off without the leg because of the radiating pain. Ronaldo Williams had never experienced pain like this before. Her husband hated to see the suffering and got through to this man, neurosurgeon Dr. Ali Krisht. He called Dr. Krisht actually and said something's going on with Ronaldo. Hey, Ronaldo. Hi. How are you? I'm good. That first appointment after an MRI revealed a lumbar herniated disc. Ronalda needed immediate surgery. It's just, it's very overwhelming when someone says you need surgery tomorrow. But her situation demanded it. This pinching over a long period of time causes permanent damage. If we didn't get the disc fragment out, I could be paralyzed. A Friday appointment meant surgery on Saturday. Ah, but there was a problem. I said, my oldest daughter goes to dance competition and I've got a driver to text her canna. Dr. Krish allowed the trip, but once the weekend was over. I went in Monday morning. I didn't have time to think about it. It was, it was scary. And by Monday afternoon? I had no pain afterwards. I felt great. For Ronalda, that pain is a distant memory. I'm able to do everything. Back problems are so common. How do you know when surgery is needed? It's much more severe, it's incapacitating. You cannot move without having pain. You feel like there's nothing you can do. If you cough or sneeze or, or any little maneuver will cause the pain to be excruciating, then something is wrong. But upon closer examination, there's an even bigger truth here. Most back pain problems should not be treated with surgery. Surgery should be the last resort. First resort for a healthy spine, careful exercise, taking precautions, and wearing the gown. Take a look, see what's going on. And we need to point out that Dr. Chris is known worldwide for his work with brain tumors, but he was quick to point out to us that being a neurosurgeon encompasses a whole series of issues, including those involving the spine. He leads a team of surgeons at the all-new CHI St. Vincent Neurosurgery Institute in Sherwood. 